NBC's biggest hits. Two years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was Romantic by a singer so dedicated to making it, she quit her high school cheerleading squad because she was afraid it would ruin her voice. I'll have details and that big hit after this. CD 40 with Casey Kasem. Well, now we're up to our story about the former beauty queen who almost got booed off stage at Harlem's Apollo Theater. Not because of her singing, but because of her legs. She's 24-year-old Karen White. As a teenager growing up in South Central Los Angeles, Karen knew she wanted to become a singer. And she figured that beauty contests would be a great way to get her foot in the door. So she bought a bathing suit and a sequined evening gown. And she developed an act for the talent portion of the competition. In fact, Karen recalls, quote, The only part I cared about was the talent portion. I focused on my singing rather than just on how I was looking. End of quote. Well, Karen's strategy worked, and people began to notice her singing, not just her looks. In 1986, jazz musician Jeff Lorber selected her to sing on his song, The Facts of Love, and it became a top 40 hit. Soon after that, she got booked at the famous Apollo Theater in Harlem. The night that she opened, she walked out on stage wearing the newest fashion at the time, a miniskirt. The audience gave her a very warm reception. Then she took a break, changed into a long evening gown, and came back for another set. Suddenly, everything changed. The audience was actually booing. Bewildered, it took a few minutes for Karen to figure out why. They wanted to see her legs. Now, as a veteran of beauty contests, Karen knew how to remain poised and gracious, and she just concentrated on her singing. The chorus of boos finally died out, and by the end of her set, she had completely won the crowd over with her voice, not her legs. And now she's being cheered on the pop chart with her first solo hit. At number six, here's Karen White with The Way You Love Me. I'm Mark Elliott, in for Casey Kasem. Casey's Top 40 originates in Hollywood. You know, most of us remember our days in school for the fun things we did. But singer Karen White remembers school for all the fun things she couldn't do. Here's the story. Karen told us that even when she was a child growing up in Los Angeles, she knew she wanted to be a star. But as she got into school, she found that sticking to that goal meant giving up some things she loved. Karen says she could never go out and party on Friday nights like her school friends because she was usually too busy rehearsing with her singing group. She says she was co-captain of the cheerleading squad in her senior year in high school, but she had to give that up, too. Karen told us, quote, I could have just gone on and had fun because that was my last year, but I gave it up because all the cheering was ruining my voice. The other girls couldn't understand it. And you know, Karen's devotion to her dream even made her give up school itself and switch to another one. You see, Karen's school was in a rough neighborhood. Karen was involved in all sorts of talent shows and events at the school, and that didn't set well with a few tough, jealous girls. One day, those girls confronted Karen and started bullying her. Karen panicked, ran to a telephone, and called home. Her mom told us she answered the phone and heard her little girl screaming, Mama, I gotta get out of here. I can't get killed at this school because I'm gonna be a star. Well, Karen's mom drove over to that school and checked Karen out the same day. And she took her to a school in a different neighborhood and enrolled her there. Now, years later, Karen has reached her goal. She's become a star. And this week, that young woman who skipped lots of fun in high school is having fun with her third top ten hit in a row. Coming in at number 16 in our survey, here's Karen White with Secret Rendezvous. That means we have a brand new number one song in the USA on Casey's Top 40, and it's by a singer who once auditioned to replace Jody Watley in the dance trio Shalimar and was turned down flat. Happened back in 1984 when Shalimar was riding high on the charts. They had big hits with songs like The Second Time Around, Dead Giveaway, and Dancing in the Sheets. But unfortunately for the group, at the height of their success, lead singer Jody Watley decided to leave and pursue a solo career. And so there were the other two members, hot as can be, but with no lead singer to front them. They desperately put out word that they were auditioning for a female singer. And not surprisingly, they got a huge response. One of the women who applied for the job was a struggling young singer who had done session work for people like Julio Iglesias, the Commodores, and Ray Parker Jr. She was burning to make a name for herself. So she showed up at the Shalimar audition and gave them everything she had. She says she sang her heart out. After she was done, the group said they admired her singing, but just didn't think she had the look they needed. She was pretty 
but they wanted flashy and hot. And so they turned her down and hired someone else. Sadly for Shalimar, the group never had another big pop hit and disbanded within two years. On the other hand, the singer they turned down kept on singing and in 1989 had three top ten solo hits. The Way You Love Me, Superwoman, and Secret Rendezvous. This year, she's back in the top ten. And this week, that once rejected singer has made it all the way to the top. The brand new number one song in the USA on Casey's Top 40 is Romantic. The first number one for Karen White. Karen White. I was actually lucky enough to get her to sing background vocals on my first album. Thanks, Karen. Now, Karen's married to one of her producers, Terry Lewis, and I'll bet that cuts down on production costs, if you know what I mean. Anyway, her song, The Way I Feel About You, moves up from 14 to 11 and could give her another top 10 hit next week, but I guess only The Shadow knows. Casey's Top 40 Casey's Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world every week on great radio stations like FM 104, KHOP, nonstop hits from Modesto, Stockton, California. The best music mix on B106.3 FM, Nashua, New Hampshire. Hazard's Hottest Hits, WKIC AM, Hazard, Kentucky. And we play it for you, WCSM, FM AM, Salina, Ohio. Dancing down six notches to number 36 is a singer who makes her home in a $2 million mansion on one of Minnesota's 10,000 lakes. She's Karen White with The Way I Feel About You. Casey's Biggest Hits. One year ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was a number one smash that inspired the musicians who worked on it to become romantic. Singer Karen White says she doesn't know what was in the air when she recorded the album called Ritual of Love. But she says the romantic feeling of the music was really infectious. Band members who had been single for years suddenly decided it was time to tie the knot. Others who were already married renewed their vows. Even Karen herself wasn't untouched by all the romance. While she was working on the album, she got married to a producer, Terry Lewis. One year ago this week, love was still in the air as Karen White was singing one of the biggest hits in the USA, Romantic. Casey's Biggest Hits. Two years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was by a singer so dedicated to making it, she quit her high school cheerleading squad because she was afraid it might ruin her voice. Karen White was just 15 years old at the time. She had decided at the age of just five that she wanted to be a star like her idol, Diana Ross. And that was what she committed herself to doing. She took singing, dancing, and acting lessons. And when she noticed the cheers she led in high school were roughing up her voice, she gave it up, even though it was something she loved to do. The result was a woman who did what she set out to do. She made it. And two years ago this week, Karen White had one of the biggest hits in the USA. Here's Romantic. 